This is my third example of how to find the asymptotes of a function given its equation. It is significantly harder than the previous two examples. I will work with a function h, defined by the equation h of x equals x arctangent of x. This function has two different slant asymptotes, one as x approaches infinity and a different one as x approaches minus infinity. Interesting. I want to find those two asymptotes. At this moment, I invite you to pause the video and try to solve the problem by any means you can. And after that, continue watching. Disclaimer. To be fair, there is a faster way to solve this problem than what I am about to do. There is an algorithm with a couple of formulas which is more systematic. However, what I want to show in this video is that even if nobody has taught me the method, as long as I understand the definition, if I am willing to try things and make errors, I can still figure things out. I want to study the behavior of this function as x approaches infinity. The unusual part is Artanian. I know what to do with x. But I remember that Artanian by itself does have a horizontal asymptote. I know the limit as x goes to infinity of Artanian of x is pi over 2. So this suggests that as x is going towards infinity, my function perhaps behaves like pi over 2 times x, because it's x times something with limit pi over 2. So it suggests that my function is like a line, pi over 2 times x. Perhaps that could be an asymptote? I'm not sure yet, but for now it's a conjecture. It's my candidate. Well, I don't know if it's going to work, but let's try to prove it. For it to be an asymptote, I would need the following condition. I could need the difference between the function and the asymptote, well, the potential asymptote, to have limit zero at infinity. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's the only idea I have so far, so let's try to prove it. I'm trying to compute this limit. As I have written it now, it is an indeterminate form, because the limit of this term is infinity, and the limit of this term is also infinity. So I have infinity minus infinity. Well, I notice I can take x common factor. That's a good idea, because I have more tools for products than for differences. Now, I have the product of two things. The limit of the first term of x is infinity. The limit of the second term, well, this has limit pi over 2, minus pi over 2, that's 0. Okay, that's also an indeterminate form, but it's a product. And I know I can transform every product into a quotient. I simply wrote x as 1 over 1 over x. And now let's see what we have. The numerator had limit 0 before, still has it, and the denominator 1 over x as x goes to infinity has limit 0. Perfect. This is 0 divided by 0, so these are the conditions under which I can try to use L'Hopital's rule. So I'm going to go ahead and use L'Hopital's rule. This limit will be equal to, assuming the new limit exists, I have to take the derivative of the numerator. Well, the derivative of Artanian is 1 over 1 plus x squared, the derivative of a constant is 0, and the derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared. And now let me regroup these things. Hey, the Artanian is gone. That's good news. And I am left with a much simpler limit. So perhaps you know what the answer is. It's just the leading coefficients, or you want to factor x squared for numerator and denominator, or you want to use L'Hopital twice more. But either way, after you do that, we conclude that this limit is minus 1, which is great. I computed the limit. It exists, so the original limit is minus 1. Oh, but I wanted limit 0, so maybe it's not great. So let me go back to the problem I was trying to solve. I was wondering whether that limit was zero, but it isn't. It's minus one. So my candidate for an asymptote is not an asymptote. But not all is lost, because notice what I can do now. If I add one on the left and on the right, I do get limit zero. So it turns out that my function is not getting close to yes pi over two times x, but sifted by one. Or in other words, I can rewrite this as follows. And I have proven that the limit as x goes to infinity of my original function minus pi over 2x minus 1 is 0. In other words, the vertical distance between the graph of my function and the graph of this line approaches 0 as x goes to infinity. By definition, I have found an asymptote. Well, that was unexpected. I couldn't have guessed from this equation that this is the line that was going to appear. I warned that this problem was more complicated. Now, this function has a second slant asymptote as x approaches minus infinity. The process is similar, but the result is different. 
I'm going to lift it as an exercise and invite you to try to do the same thing as x approaches minus infinity and you will get a different line. And so this is a function with two different slant asymptotes.